radio. You know, that old dusty thing that sits up at the front of your car or in the corner of your house. Most of us are too occupied with television, our iPods, or video games to really listen to it. But the impact it has had on our world is immense. It all started in 1873 when James Clerk Maxwell showed mathematically that electromagnetic waves could travel through air. Before long, in 1888, Heinrich Hertz demonstrated Maxwell's theory by demonstrating that someone could produce and detect electromagnetic radiation. Then, in 1892, Nikola Tesla used Maxwell's mathematic findings to demonstrate the sending and receiving of radio frequency energy. He proposed that this method could be used for sending and receiving information. But it was Guglielmo Marconi who built the first wireless transmitter in 1896, which was capable of sending signals up to one and a half miles. He then proceeded to develop the world's first transatlantic radio communication service between Clifton, Ireland, and Newfoundland in 1901. The next evolution in radio technology was the invention of the spark gap transmitter. This device allowed for the production of the first commercially available radio sets. But the spark gap radios were plagued with problems, mainly electrical interference. These were greatly improved with the invention and production of crystal radio sets. The crystal sets were the first widely produced and widely used radio sets in America. These crystal sets were widely used in most American homes by the 1920s. It was the American family's connection to the rest of the country. This was fantastic, but there was still a problem that needed to be fixed. Up to this time, all radio was being broadcast using AM waves. AM stands for Amplitude Modulation. But the problem was that AM radio is medium range and is prone to be blocked by urban structures. But in 1933, Edwin H. Armstrong invented FM radio. FM stands for Frequency Modulation. This type of broadcasting method uses a wavelength that is less prone to static and blockage. It also has a longer range. With the invention of FM, radio only needed one more evolution to become what you know today. That last advancement was the transistor radio. The transistor radio had particular advantages over the old crystal sets. The transistor sets were much cheaper than the crystal ones, used less power, had a smaller size, and had a very long lifespan. 